solution, suspension, and colloidal solution. In this video, let's learn about solution, suspension, and colloidal solution. Salt dissolved in water is an example of a solution. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. It has a solute and solvent as its components. The major component of the solution that dissolves the other component in it is called the solvent. The minor component of the solution that is dissolved in the solvent is called the solute. In our example, water is the solvent and salt is the solute. Solute particles in a solution cannot be seen as the particle size is less than 1 nanometer. The solute particles can be separated by evaporation. When the solution is left undisturbed, the solute particles do not settle down. A solution is said to be stable. Wheat flour mixed with water is an example of a suspension. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which the solute particles do not dissolve but remain suspended throughout the bulk of the medium. The solute particles in a suspension are clearly visible. These particles can be separated by the filtration process. When a suspension is left undisturbed and the solute particles settle down, the suspension is said to be unstable. Milk is an example of a colloidal solution. Starch solution is one of these examples. Colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture in which the particles are uniformly spread throughout the solution and they scatter light. It has two components, dispersed phase and dispersing medium. The solute-like component or the dispersed particles form the dispersed phase and the component in which the dispersed phase is suspended is known as the dispersion medium. In milk, water is the dispersing medium and the fat and proteins in it form the dispersed phase. Though the solute particles in colloidal solutions cannot be seen, the particle size is large enough to scatter light. These particles can be separated by the centrifugation process. When a colloidal solution is left undisturbed and the solute particles do not settle down, the colloidal solution is said to be stable. The scattering of a beam of light is called the Tyndall effect. The path of light becomes visible when it passes through a colloidal solution. This effect is important because it differentiates a solution from a colloidal solution. A Tyndall effect is not observed in solutions. In the case of suspensions, the Tyndall effect is observed for some time. Once the solute particles settle down, the Tyndall effect cannot be observed. However, the Tyndall effect is always observed in colloidal solutions. 